Hey guys, this is Carla Abdaliano. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is a special episode for all of you guys because I will be showing you my daytime skincare routine. Tama-tama na sa harap ako ng window ngayon. Walang ilaw whatsoever na added. Walang filter. This is all natural makeup free. Like I always say, it's very important that you have a skincare routine. Isa for daytime and isa for nighttime. Most especially if you're in your early 20s because like I always say, also prevention is better than cure. Pagdating din yan sa skin. So, importante na habang maaga pa, you already adapt and you make sure that you are consistent with a particular skincare routine that's for your skin type or yung mga needs ng skin mo. So, tamang-tama, habang bata ka pa, you're in your early 20s, mag-try ka na ng different products or you can go to your derma to determine your skin type and then mag-start ka ng mag-discover or try around various products for your skin. This is what I do in the morning. Pagkita Tapos kung mag-shower before I go to work or do my errands for the day. Join me guys and I hope you guys enjoy. Here we go! Okay, so step one is of course, kapag nag-shower tayo, kiki-cleanse natin ang ating face. Siyempre, wala ko sa shower ngayon. Pero ipapakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung, yung cleanser na ginagamit ko when I shower in the morning. Of course, I am particular to my cleanser because I have oily skin and I am prone to acne. I only use one facial cleanser. I'm sure familiar na kayo dito because I've mentioned this in my everyday makeup tutorial vlog. This is Acne Care Cleanser. I get this from the Ivy Clinic. Dun lang siya nabibili. This has got to be one of the best cleansers I've ever tried. Kasi marami na ako nasubukan na oil-free, acne-prone, uh, oily skin cleansers out there. Lots of them have harsh chemicals, unfortunately. This cleanser particularly works. I've been using it for almost a year now. So thank God na discover ko siya from the Ivy Clinic. So all we have to do is, of course, wet my face. Kunyari na lang nasa shower tayo and use this. Okay, pasensya na na puto. But like I said, step one is of course cleansing your face. So imagine yun na lang nasa shower ako. Wow, well, imagine talaga nasa shower ako. But first thing in the morning, of course, when I shower, I wash my face. Again, I use the same cleanser. Iisa lang ito. Hindi ako nagpapalit-palit ng cleanser. Nabanggit ko na yan sa aking everyday makeup tutorial vlog. 200 ml shopper pump bottle. Dun lang siya nabibili. It's not available on retail. So when I shower, I usually just pump once or twice. And then, that's it. A little goes on long way, I wash my face. Well, imagine nyo na lang basa yung face ko ngayon. Just rub it like this. Medyo magpo-foam up siya. Make sure to rub gentle. Whether it's your cleanser, your toner, your moisturizer, your eye cream, always just rub gently lang. Pag nasa shower na kayo, in the morning while you get ready for school or work, wash your face already. So, tama-tama, acne-prone skin ako and I tend to be oily. Especially on my T-zone, I use this cleanser because it works effectively. Mga ilang months to almost a year ko nang gamit tong cleanser na to. I don't use any other cleanser because this works perfectly for me already. Sobrang happy ako with this cleanser. So, I will just rinse my face with water and I will be back, guys. Okay, so we are back, guys. Kaka-rinse ko lang ng face ko. First step is, of course, to cleanse your face. I used Acne Care Cleanser from the Ivy Clinic. Second step to my daytime skincare routine is to use my toner. Siyempre, after I shower, I dry off my face, my body, and my hair. Right away, toner na. So, my toner is this. It's Acne Care Lotion, also from the Ivy Clinic. Hindi ito available on retail. It's just available at the I Ivy Clinic. This is about 25 ml per bottle. And what I like about it is, tingnan nyo yung pinaka-top niya. Para siyang sponge. Na siya. So, mas madaling i-apply. Wala ka nang gagamitin cotton pad or cotton ball. And then, you just swipe it around your face. Pasadahan mo lang siya ng kakaunti. You don't even have to use too much. You don't even have to do a second pass. Okay na siya. It's a small bottle but a little goes a long way. Kasi sponge applicator na yung nasa dulo. I like it so much, di ba? You don't have to use your fingers. And again, you don't have to use a cotton pad or a cotton ball to apply. So again, because this is acne care, it's also for um, acne prone skin or oily type ng skin. So perfect din ito sa akin. By the way, I forgot to mention that I, another toner that I use is the EMK Bloom Toner. So unfortunately lang, ubus na ang aking bottle ng EMK Bloom Toner. But I will show you guys a picture of it sa EMK Philippines underscore official Instagram page na lang. So, ito yung itsura ng bloom toner ng EMK. Super isa yan sa mga favorite products ko from EMK. 
spray bottle na siya. You can spray it directly on a cotton pad or cotton ball. Or you can spray it directly on your face already. So, maganda yung ganong toner na spray bottle na siya. So, hindi mo na kailangan mag-spread pa or mag-wipe across your face. And then, isa yan sa, like I mentioned, isa yan sa pinaka-favorite ko talagang products ng EMK. Because it already serves as your parang primer prior to applying your makeup. Tapos, para siyang toner na freshener na rin at the same time for your face. Maganda yan. Isa yan sa mga bestseller products din ng EMK. So, if you wanna know more about the EMK Bloom Toner, just follow EMK Philippines underscore official on IG to check out the other products or to buy na rin directly. So, aside from this, which is for my acne and oily prone skin, I use EMK's Bloom Toner. So let's now proceed to my moisturizer. This is the current moisturizer that I use. This is Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer. So, syempre, nabili ko yan sa Origins. Bakit ayaw na naman mag-focus? Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer. It comes in this little light pink jar. This is 30 ml. Ang bango nito. <laughs> Sobrang bango nito. Although, it's not always a good sign kapag mabango ang isang beauty product or skin product. Kasi baka artificial yung fragrance nun. And that's not always good. Uh, maganda kapag yung fragrance comes from natural ingredients, diba? Always check the products that you use. Make sure na as much as possible natural ang ingredients, walang harsh chemicals. And of course, it's best to always use organic. So Origins naman is known for their natural ingredients. So I'm hoping na itong fragrance ng uh, Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer is eh, natural siya. But I just started using this siguro mga a couple of months ago. I love it kasi sobrang hirap makahanap ng moisturizer na mattifying and perfect for oily skin or acne prone skin. Ako pa naman very particular ako kasi if the moisturizer that I use is too rich, nagiging oily ako. To think, yung ginagamit ko namang moisturizer eh oil free o kaya talagang meant for people with oily skin, di ba? So bibihira lang ako talaga makahanap ng moisturizer that doesn't make my skin oily or doesn't make me break out. Trust me, for how many years ang tagal-tagal ko nang naghahanap ng moisturizer na perfect for my oily skin, doesn't clog my pores, doesn't make my skin even more oily, and doesn't cause breakouts. So, I'm so grateful na nahanap ko ito, Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer, because it's so good. It blends well under makeup, it doesn't make my skin oily, it doesn't cause breakouts, it doesn't clog my pores, hindi ko siya pinoproblema. As soon as you apply it, wala pang one minute na absorb na siya ng skin. Super soft lang ng skin, oh. Hindi ko alam ba't ako namumula ngayon? Siguro naiinitan lang ako, guys. Pag pasensya ka nyo na aking medyo rosy cheeks. I'm not usually rosy cheeks. Siguro dahil kakawash ko lang ng face ko. Tsaka medyo mainit dito. Next up, um, by the way, speaking of moisturizer, I also use a different uh, or another moisturizer. Same then by EMK siya. Again, naubusan na po ako ng, ng tub nito or ng jar nito. Ano ba yan? Kulang na ako sa EMK product. Kailangan ko na talaga mag-order ulit. But ever since I started using EMK, I have been so happy with the results. Super effective. Siya. Pag ginagamit ko ang EMK products, anti-aging products sa face ko, lalo na kapag buo the complete line, meaning from the rescue serum to the day moisturizer, the toner, the night moisturizer, and the eye cream. Super effective niya if used or when used together. As in, ang clear ng skin ko, sobrang bright, nawawala yung medyo light spot sa skin. And pagising ko, as in, I woke up like this, parang blooming yung skin ko. Walang halong biro yan, hindi perket EMK endorser ako sinasabi ko to. It's true. It's a fact. EMK is from Beverly Hills. It's natural anti-aging skincare brand. Follow EMK Philippines underscore official for more details and if you want to purchase the products. But like I mentioned, one of my favorite EMK products is their moisturizer. Yung daytime moisturizer nila. It's called Optima. Optima Face Cream. So this is the picture. Again, you can follow on Instagram. EMK Philippines underscore official. Ito yung for the longest time moisturizer or daytime moisturizer na gamit ko. Optima. It's really effective, guys. Wait lang. Okay, so now we're done with the moisturizer. We now proceed to my uh, SPF or yung sunblock. It's very important to use sunblock before leaving the house. Ideally, you're supposed to apply it mga 15 to 20 minutes or at best 
30 minutes before exposing yourself to the sun or before you go outdoors. Important yan na magkaroon muna ng time na magsettle yung inyong sunblock or SPF sa skin ninyo, sa face ninyo bago kayo lumabas. Hindi yan yung pwedeng sa labas nyo na nilalagay sa kotse or sa daan. Hindi yan yung Basta basta ang pwede nyo na lang na last minute ilalagay. So you have to let it settle on your skin first or on your face. I use Bior UV Oil Control Base. It has SPF 50. Ito sa, ay isa sa mga discoveries ko din na sobrang happy ako about. I got this from Japan from Matsumoto Kiyoshi. Isa yan sa favorite drugstore ko sa Japan. It's only available in Japan, obviously. So I'm always on the lookout kasi for oil-free or oil control products for my face. So, sobrang dami ko nang nasubukan na oil-free, mattifying, oil controlling, mga ganon. Pero, iilan lang sa kanila yung sobrang naging happy ako about. Thank goodness na discover ko to because, aminin natin, most SPF or sunblocks really make your skin oily. Kahit sabihin mo pang oil controlling sila or for oily skin sila, di ba? Or oil-free sila. Thank goodness na hanap ko ito. That's why whenever I go to Japan, nag-hoard na ako nito. I usually buy two to three bottles. Mga two bottles, okay na. Kasi hindi din naman maganda na nagsa-store tayo or nagsa-stock tayo on products dahil inaabot din sila ng expiration. So, always be conscious about that also. So, again, this is the Bior UV Oil Control Base. This has SPF 50 already. I usually just put siguro half a pea size lang. Ganito lang kadami. And then, I apply it all over my face. Even on the eyelids. And then, I spread it by patting. Ang importante talaga when it comes to sunblock is you pat it on your face. Bakit? Because did you know that when you put SPF on your face or sunblock, and then you rub it, mas nababawasan yung SPF content niya or yung SPF quality niya. Oh, so kahit sabi mo pang SPF 50 siya, pag nirub mo naman ng ganun sa face mo, nababawasan yung SPF 50 na yun. Alam nyo ba yun? That's why it's important to be as gentle as possible when it comes to applying your SPF or your sunblock. So patting is the key. Pat lang talaga to spread it. Don't rub it around your face. Don't tug on your skin, and then that's it. Super hindi ako nagiging oily dito. Okay din siya under makeup. I love it so much. It's one of the best products I've ever tried, lalo na when it comes to sunblocks or uh, SPF. Kasi hindi ako talaga nag-oil dito and happy ako. Plus, by the way, this has a tint of color. Hindi naman ito yung type na may light, medium, and dark, di ba? Or what, na shades. Pretty much universal naman yung shade niya. And then once na-apply mo na siya sa skin mo, na-spread mo na siya through patting na ganun, almost undetectable na yung color. So, may color hindi siyang color, but then when you apply it, it just blends in naturally. Hindi siya yung type ng sunblock na sobrang puti or leaves a white cast on your face. So, that's also one of the things that I like about it so much. Na hindi ka mukhang naka-sunblock. Hindi maputing-maputi yung mukha mo na parang ka talagang naka-sunblock na parang pang beach. So, may times nga na parang na rin siyang BB cream or CC cream kasi nga may hint of color siya. So, I like that. Kasi uh, pag hindi naman, pag wala namang work, hindi naman ako pupunta ng trabaho, I really, as in less is more, I don't put much makeup on. Parang ginagamit ko na rin tong parang BB cream ko or CC cream ko kasi may konti nga siyang color or may konti nga siyang uh, parang BB cream na nga siya or CC cream. So, isa yun sa mga gusto ko about it. Parang na rin akong nag, ano, nag tinted moisturizer or something. Okay, so that's it. Sabi ko naman sa inyo, simple lang ang aking daytime skincare routine. Ilang steps lang yan. I use just a few products. But, kailangan talaga uh, diligently. Talagang kailangan consistent kang gumagamit. Again, I don't leave the house with, without doing those sa aking daytime skincare routine. Important yan that we take good care of our skin at malinis at maganda at prepped ang skin bago tayo maglalagay ng makeup for the day. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for joining me. By the way, this top that I'm wearing now is by Kashika. Thank you Kashika. Alam nyo naman ako, Kashika girl. I love Kashika. And as much as possible, Kashika talaga ang suot ko kapag nag-vlog ako. So ito siya. I like the little sleeve effect of it. I like that it stripes pababa, kaya slimming siya. It has those details na parang flowers na red. I like it. Wala lang. Thank you so much, Kashika. By the way, we are not finished yet with this video. Meron pa akong bonus feature. Bonus feature sa vlog, may bonus feature. Since maikli lang ang daytime skincare routine ko, I will be showing you guys my weekly skincare routine, which is also very simple. Iilang steps lang yan, iilang products lang ang gamit ko dyan. So, ipapakita ko na rin sa inyo guys in this vlog. Ready na ba kayo? Eto na! 
So, may mga products tayong ginagamit na hindi for daily use. Ewan ko sa inyo, pero ako meron. Especially because I get exposed to makeup a lot, almost on a daily basis. Nagpupuyat ako. My work is highly stressful. Kailangan talaga from time to time, we use weekly products na medyo mas, para ba sabihin, hindi naman mas harsh siya, no? But I guess, mas, mas exfoliating siya. And then, kailangan din kasi na ma-wipe out talaga and ma-exfoliate ng maigi ang skin on a regular basis. So, kung hindi kaya weekly, pwede namang every other week or every 10 days or every 2 weeks, pwede yan. So, I will be showing you guys the products that I use on a weekly basis to exfoliate and basically refresh my skin. Eto na! I use a scrub. Local lang nabibili ito. Any grocery store, any supermarket. This is St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. Tagal ko na actually ginagamit to. If I'm not mistaken, parang college pa lang na-try ko na siya along with my sister. Sa kanya ko na-discover to eh. So, it's a really good scrub. Weekly ko lang ito ginagamit. It's an apricot scrub by St. Ives. It's pretty much affordable. They just changed their look. So, ganyan lang. Apply lang ng konti sa face. When you're washing your face, make sure basa ang face. And then rub lang. Don't, again, number, isang important rule yan, don't tug too much on your skin. Let the product do its job. Kasi scrub na siya. Though very gentle siya, hindi siya masakit sa skin. Just rub it around for about a minute or two while you're in the shower or while you're washing your face. Okay na yan. Maganda yan. Blemish control scrub na din yan. Another exfoliating product that I use on a regular basis or on a weekly basis is this. The Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial. Recent discovery ko lang din ito. Nakikita ko siya from mga blogs, maganda ang reviews niya. I got this tiny version lang. Parang pwede na rin siyang travel size. Maliit lang siya. It has 25% AHA and 2% BHA. So ito hindi siya scrub but because of its ingredients, exfoliating na din siya. Super konti lang nang kailangan mo nito. You just pump a small amount, like half a pea size amount, which you spread on the face and leave on for about 10 minutes. Strict sila dun sa time na iiwan mo siya sa skin mo. 10 minutes lang siya gi ano, kasi it's really too strong. Strong enough to exfoliate your skin without the actual beads. Parang may gentle peeling effect na din siya para ma renew ang skin. So isi spread mo lang siya. Just one layer around your skin, leave it for 10 minutes, and then rinse your face with water. Yun ang mga sa exfoliating side. I also use masks. Believe me, fan din ako ng mga Korean skincare masks. Yung iniiwan lang sa face na ganun, para kang naka-costume talaga, naka-mask kang ganun. I like those. Bumibili rin ako sa Japan ng mga masks. I buy from local sellers, online sellers, uh, na bumibili from Korea. I like those masks. Mga 15-30 minutes, leave mo lang siyang ganun. Okay na siya. But I also have mga liquid or creamy masks. I have two kinds. So, naga alternate na ako between these two masks. Ito yung type of masks na ina apply sa skin, iniiwan for about hmm, 15 20 minutes, tapos rinse na siya. So, nabili ko itong dalawang ito from the States because Origins is a really good brand. Maganda yung ingredients, natural ingredients, wala gaanong harmful chemicals. So, Origins, out of trouble, 10 minute mask to rescue problem skin. So, again, Origins, out of trouble, 10 minute mask. So, ito yung mga pag medyo na overwhelm na yung skin ninyo, pag medyo sensitive na nagiging reddish na ng ganyan, or nagkakaroon na kayo ng parang mga whiteheads or comedones, uh, comedones. Yung parang mga ano siya, parang mga pimple-pimple na maliliit na mga white. It just takes 10 minutes to recover and make your skin calm down. So, magandang mask ito. Minsan ko lang naman siya gamitin because I don't naman din have sensitive skin. So, and then I have Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. So, siya. This is another mask that I use on a regular basis. Mga weekly yan. So, Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. So, maganda din ito kasi texture naman yung trabaho niya is to deal with the texture of your skin. Of course, we all want smooth skin. Yung pag hinahawakan natin with our fingers na ganyan, sobrang smooth, walang bumps. Diba? Para pag inilawan ka kahit nasa taas yung ilaw or nasa baba yung ilaw, walang makikita mga butlig-butlig. So, para soft ang skin and walang mga bumps, 
Maganda yung Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. So that's it! Yan ang mga products na ginagamit ko on a weekly basis para lang makapag-replenish, makapag-rest, and makarecover ang skin. Aside from our daily skincare routine na during the day and at night, ito yung mga weekly na products. So I hope you guys learned a lot. I hope nag-enjoy kayo sa vlog na ito. Many more to come. Please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Aba, alam ko marami sa inyo ang hindi subscribers, ha? Pinupuntahan nyo lang aking YouTube channel. Panunoorin nyo lang yung videos. Hindi mo lang kayo nagsusubscribe. Mmm, bawal yan. Please subscribe, guys. Click the subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video. Hit the notification button, yung bell na icon, para din updated kayo sa mga bagong vlogs ko. And, might as well share na rin to your friends and to your family and your loved ones about my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram, Carla Angeline, and I promise I will come up with many more vlogs for you guys. Thanks again! Hugs and kisses! Till next time!